can't believe there's a downside to all this internet skullduggery. By the way, a lot of insane things said, rather than, of course, I'm not going to go into specifics because, you know, not to my benefit, but I've seen all the wild shit said, and uh, I've been swatted many, I'll just, t- I'll just talk about myself. Swatting is fucked uh, and pretty evil, and I've never encouraged anybody to do it or been involved with it, and I just think it's fucked up all the way around. I've been swatted many times, police with guns, without guns, coming up to my house with gurneys, fire trucks, without. I've had them come turn my fucking gas line off because they said there was some kind of fucking literal gas torture going on in my basement, and for some reason that was taken seriously. I don't know. <laughs> and my gas line was turned off without my consent. I've had my car spray painted out in front of my house. Uh, I've had people hunt me down on international vacation, encouraged, quite frankly, by the same people who uh, were just swatted, although I still disavow that type of thing, as I'm mentioning here. Uh, But in all reality, uh, you know, people wouldn't know where I live now if not for that same element. Uh, And that's why I've gotten swatted for years. Uh, So forgive me if I don't break out, uh, you know, the trip to the Wailing Wall, uh, you know, and just render my garments here and... (laughs) I'll start self-flagellating. That's not going to happen. Um, I had nothing to do with any type of swatting. This shit's just actually ridiculous. Who got swatted? I'm not going to go into it because not to my... <laughs> I'm being very vague. Uh, but um, it is a fucked up thing that happens, swatting. Uh, and it's happened to me for years. Uh, and I disavow and I just think it's terrible all the way around. Um but, like, you know, it, it wasn't the most shocking thing I've ever heard. Uh, and I got a call. Actually, I got a call in D.C. about it uh, and didn't know what it was and called back the next day. Police called me at, like, 4 a.m. And I'm like, uh, okay. Uh, and when I woke up and then called them back, and they're like, I didn't even know what had happened. Just ridiculous. Just ridiculous shit uh, all the way around. But I got swatted with guns out at my house just just like a month ago. Basically, um, nobody... They're trying to say that... Um, I don't know. I don't even know that like somehow I was tangentially contributed to this or... I don't know. It's just retarded. Um, what I'm saying is, no, that's ridiculous and untrue and also i've been swatted at my own home just recently with guns drawn with my kid in the house uh if i had to guess it's probably the same person that's been swatting everybody i don't know maybe there's a team of swatting people um it's a pretty serious thing to do um and so i would assume that whoever's doing it is probably doing it to everybody and doesn't care um so i don't know i hope whoever's swatting people is caught and put in prison and I don't think it's something that should be celebrated. I don't think it's funny. Like, I don't even, I've never gotten the kick out of that. I just got swatted at the Supreme Court on fucking Friday. So, I mean, I, I didn't even remember that. Like, it happens to me so often, I can't even keep up. You know what I mean? Like, so then I see people get out here and, and moral fag about it happening. Yeah, it's fucked up. But, you know, you're only saying it to try to, like, make up some shit about me in the first, you know what I mean? Like try to throw insinuations and it's like, no, it's, you know, quite frankly, look at your own behavior, uh, as to why that might've occurred, the tension you've drawn. Um, it's still not cool. It's still not right, but you know, it is what it is. That's, that's what, that's what goes down. Like, I can't think of, I'm going to see baked. He's been swatted. I'm looking at the board of people on here. Well, almost everybody on here, (laughs) has been swatted so um again it's a fucked up thing but it's like well there it is i I mean it's it's fucked up i've disavowed it every turn i can't you can't find me supporting swatting ever in any way whatsoever i even we called out ian ma shong like everybody from swat like i don't know is there anybody that even i mean besides like the crazy fuckers like i don't even know anybody that supports swatting so to me it's just it's just crazy as fuck honestly 
Um, but I will say this. It's funny that all the swatting started happening uh, surrounding Mr. Medicare. Uh, and when he started getting some heat, uh, some of the psychos started really coming out. I mean, that's, you know, that is an observation that I think could quite reasonably be made um, because I can't really, re not a wave of swattings like this. People's been getting swatted. Like I said, I looked down the board. People got swatted multiple times over the last two or three months. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Like, it's fucked up, and nope. I mean, I don't support it. Why do you think I'm fucking moving? What the fuck? I don't like that shit either. <laughs> so, again, but, you know, it is it is kind of rich. <laughs> you know, in a scenario where, you know, the guy who docks somebody and the doxing has led to that person, me, getting swatted, you know, six to ten times. I don't even know how many this time at this address now. Then that person gets swatted, and now it's, you know, another showa. It's another showa. Okay, well, you know, it's fucked up, yeah. But you didn't think it was so fucked up when it was happening to me. You didn't think it was that fucked up. I didn't see anybody out there. Oh, it's so terrible. I saw people, in fact, I saw people saying it was good. And I saw people justifying it. And I saw people justifying beat me in the street. That's what I fucking saw. That's exactly what I saw, including the same elements crying now and making, you know, saying we need to start a new Geneva Convention over it. Okay, well, forgive me if I don't fall down all over myself to, to take up that stance. And everything I just said is a thousand percent true. They just, they would justify if I got killed in the street. As a matter of fact, the same elements trying to, like, I don't even know, third degree taught me to this bullshit. We're liking tweets, wanting me dead. $10. It's called you reap what you sow. I'm just saying, it's just called um, swatting's fucked up. But it's it, like, this trying to be used against me is just the most retarded thing ever. Since I've gotten swatted more than anybody, I've always disavowed swatting. That's what pisses me off. Also, what pisses me off is I don't have any butane in my lighter. And I don't like lighting a cigar with a regular lighter. Thank you, Smug. By the way, we got the fourth hour phone on the screen. Jack Hadfield's going to be on the kill stream tonight. We have a regular kill stream. It's like, okay. I don't like swatting at all. And nobody's been swatted more than me. So it's like, I don't know. It, it does kind of piss me off. <sighs> it's mysterious how it always started happening after after Medicare got his panties in a twist, though, I will say. Motherfucker, I hate this letter. What the? Damn. That's some firepower. So, I don't know. I'm not really sure where else I can go with that riff other than I disavow swatting. I do think it was fucked up. I hate to see anybody get swatted, even the motherfuckers I don't like. And even the people, even if I have people there that I do like with those people. So, I just, and even people I don't like just flat out or hate, I don't support swatting. Uh, for one, you know, everybody's vulnerable to that shit. And it's just bad for, I mean, it's even beyond... You know, it's pretty much trying to get somebody killed. So, you know, it could easily happen. I had a fucking gun pointed at me, like I said, a month ago. And now it's not cool. But again, everybody thought it was cool when it was happening to me or didn't give a fuck or said I deserved it or brought it on to myself. Well, okay, where are those same people now? And I, I don't think it was true then, and I'm not even saying it's true now. But it's like, okay. Why are there these two massive double standards and it's supposed to be me that goes out there and says what? Like, says anything other than this. Yeah. This is all I can say. Yeah. 
flashbacks. We love but uh, and uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I don't know. Swatting's fucked. Don't swat people. I think it's evil. I wish they would catch one of these fuckers who are swatting people. I don't think that they take it very seriously. I don't even know if they. I mean, honestly, I think they could catch some of these people because they have the tools to spy on every single citizen down to the last, you know, very fucking atom. But yet they say they can't catch swatters and police don't know what's going on. Well, they damn sure know what's going on when they come to confiscate your property or fucking kick in your door on a drug warrant or beat up your grandma on the street because her license plate was crooked or some, you know what I mean? Like, they damn sure know every fucking detail about how to get away with that shit. So, yeah, I don't think it's, I don't think they take it very serious. I don't think they took it very serious when my website was hacked. Y'all all thought that shit was funny. You thought it was funny when people come visit my house and you leak my address and every, you know what I mean? Like, it's like, okay, well. Oh, but yeah, I'm the life ruination guy. Okay, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Then there was, uh, what is it, that Medicare Fembot, who, who's actually a man, by the way, who has set up a Medicare, like, forum or some shit, and they've been going after me for, like, doxing and all this stuff. They literally have linked to people's whole addresses and phone numbers. Literally, they put, they put out on Twitter, they said, this is every bit of information about this person available online. Link to it with pride. Coronel underscore Quesadilla 25 sent $10. Break out the world's smallest violin for these faggots. Oh, 2020 Pyrex Vision. Anonymous sent $3 greater than bitches about doxing and swatting greater than has spent years and years doing this. Dude, you legitimately are the biggest hypocrite I have ever seen. What? You have zero room to discuss others doxing when you practice it from 2014 to present day. Shut up, fat ass lol. I don't give a fuck about doxing. I've said that on air. I said that this year. We're talking about swatting. And the reason I don't give a fuck about doxing, by the way, by doxing, I mean unmasking people. I think there's a difference between like putting out people's address and like trying to get them harassed IRL versus you're not, you don't deserve your anonymity if you can't keep it. That's perfectly, that's just how it is. If you're online talking shit to me and you're trying to, fuck with my family, you're trying to spread lies about me, and I can find out who you are, I will find out who you are. I mean, that's just all there is to it, and I don't give a fuck. And it ain't never changed, and it never will change. And everybody else is like that, too. So, I don't give a motherfuck. And I've known that's how it is. That's just how it is from Jump Street. That's how it was when I got out here and started talking shit online. Motherfuckers found out who I were, who I was. Like, that's that's what happens. So if you think you can get out, get on these airwaves and get on these Twitter machines and run your shit and keep your anonymity, well, you better have your shit locked up tight then, and you better be able to keep it. And if you can't, then that's your fault. So again, I didn't care because I was, you know, I was trying to do this for a living anyway. Um, now there's still downsides to it. I say that I don't care now, but you know, looking back, maybe there's some reasons I should have. I should have cared, maybe. Uh, you know, I've thought about that before. But it's the height of arrogance to think you can get out here and make a spectacle of yourself and everybody know who, who you are and you're not going to fucking people fuck with you. That's what happens. That's one of the fucking negatives of doing this for a living or having your shit out here like that. Everybody knows that or should know that. And it's not fun, but it is what it is. Now, I have a lot of fun, too. And get to travel the world and go to all these protests and talk to people and do my show and watch YouTube with my friends here, basically. Um, so that's cool as fuck. But, you know, there's some stuff that's not cool. Um, and, you know, you can argue. You know, you put yourself out there to a certain extent. I've seen people say it. They justify anything people do to me. Um, I don't justify that type of stuff, like violence against people. Um I can't, I don't really think you can find me. Um, now, maybe like at some of these protests, like folks coming up and trying to fight and shit, well, you have to handle it. You have to handle it. Uh, but I've never supported swatting. I've never supported, you know, going up, hitting people. Uh, anytime there's any type of stuff like that on the show, I'm like, no, don't support that. So 
again, when I see people throw that type of stuff out and try to make their swatting an issue, um, and like start accusing other folks and, um, I wasn't even accused by the way. They were just like, oh, I, Ralph's <laughs> contributed to the culture basically type argument or whatever. Um, it's like, okay, well, first off, no, it probably was just the same psycho. I mean, if you ask my opinion, I don't know, but it's probably the same psycho has been squatting everybody this whole time for months and they haven't done a thing about it. So I won't hold my breath first off about them doing anything, but I hope they do. Also, my cigar keeps going out. Fuck. I'll just have to light this one. I'm not talking this much. Um, so I won't hold my breath. I mean, it would be a nice breath of fresh air if they do start treating squatting seriously and arresting some of these faggots who do it because I don't think it's cool and people have actually been killed from that type of thing. Uh, but you look at Kiwi Farms. Somebody mentioned Kiwi Farms in the chat. It's like, okay, what? Uh, where do you think? Where do you think the swatting is most likely to be coming from? Is it a, is it a place where they literally convene daily to stalk people and harass and like actually IRL harass and they've leaked people's financial records and DSP's case illegally called his bank and hacked into people's websites and posted the information there. Just actual, actual outright criminal activity. Um, and you know, you've piled around with those elements and et cetera, et cetera. It's like, okay, well again, when Trump started running, he said somebody's doing, somebody's doing all the raping yeah, well. Anonymous sent $3. Lol, you are such a liar. You doxed Gator BC. He quit and wanted to show up and hurt his entire life. Randy Butts kid and wife for being a drunk guy laughing online. What about showing up to Metacur's house for laughing at you? Get bent, bro. You mad? Hypocritical liar. First off, I didn't dox Gator. Second off, Gator made this whole thing personal, personal by involving my son. And making a spectacle out of that and thinking that I was going to take that line down, which, I mean, I'm just not. So um, I, what I said was he got on there and started telling a bunch of lies about me. Also, on top of this, and just outright making up shit and saying that he knew I ran Pantsu's Twitter account, which I don't and never have. And have never tweeted anything from that account in my life and don't run it whatsoever. And don't have the login credentials. Nothing. Never. So he's making up laws. He's just on there just outright making up laws on Kino Casino and just saying just outright shit that I know is not true just to, like, appease these facts. And so I go into Discord. I'm like, yeah, okay, well, I'm going to start dropping some real knowledge on this fucker. His name actually is Brian because he slipped up and said it on air. When he slipped up and said his name on air, that was true. That's really his name. And all the shit he said about this, not true. Smug sent five dollars. Lamau, the head cannon. These people come up with truly disturbing. It's crazy. It's crazy. But I did start doing that. I was like, okay, well, you want to start just making up lies? That's harming me. That's harming my business. That's trying to slander me in the court of public opinion, and by you know, by a guy who was my right hand man for years. It was a Jaden type situation, quite frankly, before that even happened. Just making up outright lies about me. You think I'm going to take that line down? Fuck you. No, I'm not. That's attacking my livelihood. Fuck off, Spurg. Spurg who gave me money, dumb faggot. Fuck your shit. He's trying to fuck with my job. He's trying to fuck with my life. Fuck him. Period. And I was like, yeah, his name's Brian. He lives in North Carolina somewhere. I did say that. And I don't regret it at all. Period. Now, that's not a full docs to me. Then Zoom took that. I guess Zoom had already been working on his docs, and there was a video that came out the next day where it was just all his, you know, Fatsburg Weebery everywhere and just all of his cringe college drama classes and all that shit, which I played on the show because I thought it was hilarious, and I would do it again. I don't regret it at all. I don't regret it at all, period. Do you hear me? Fact. And Rambot, same exact thing. I don't regret that at all. Period. And you want to know why? First off, he quit my show in a disgraceful manner on these airways because I was streaming on Cozy. Didn't message me in private. Didn't say anything. Made a public spectacle out of me again, which he had done many times before. Completely disrespectfully. Since he owes his entire career to me. So he did that. 
but we, you know, we made peace and kind of talked a little bit. It was like, all right, well, you know, we're not, we're not enemies or whatever. Then the stuff in Portugal happened. The fallout with Gator and Jim happened. Then he started attacking me out of nowhere. Just took up arms against me because he saw it was time to take up arms against me. So, again, that was a choice that he made. I was like, okay, well, you know, I'm just going to use the stuff that you put out yourself, which was his face, <laughs> his wife's face, who is looks like, you know, a circus freak. All of his material, him on air, drunk, blacked out, talking about he's going to face fag now. He did all that to himself. That wasn't some secret recon reconnaissance mission. A reconnaissance mission, if you heard that. It wasn't behind enemy lines. He put all that out himself. And yes, I broadcast it. And yes, I would do it again. Because this is a guy who I put on for years, who joined in with the lies, who joined in with Gator's bullshit, after we'd already made peace for no reason. Do I regret what I said about him and his hog of a wife? No. Actual hog of a wife? No. I don't regret that. So, and I've talked about all this. I don't regret what I said or did to either one of those motherfuckers. Because not only did they fucking turn on me, basically, they started lying about me, too. In the Gators case, drug my son into it. Anonymous sent $3, so you admit you also practice like urination? urination on others that slight you. You aren't a victim, fatty. You commit the same problems. Oink in at our chat, hoping they don't see you as the fat monster you are doesn't oh, work no. when you practice what you preach, you hypocrite. Cope. I've never gotten on these airwaves and po posed as some moral figure. I'm in the grime with all these other motherfuckers. And I love it. And I'm not going anywhere. That's the beauty of the kill stream, Tequila Sunrise. My life ruination, you can lick my asshole. I don't give a motherfuck. I don't even accept that terminology. It's like hate speech. Chris Dorian X, it does sound like him, yeah. No, it's fuckers who, no, life ruination? You mean like trying to fuck up my show, fuck up my money, lie about me on air? On air? Okay, well, let's find out who you really are. Let's look at the information you put out there and go through the record. And I did put out that, that telegram. I was like, well, damn, it would be crazy if somebody, and I didn't do it myself, but I was being honest. I was like, oh, okay, people know who, who Gator is now. It would be crazy if somebody sent his college or his job, all these shows he's doing with Rambot, and now he's a TRS affiliate, and I do. I do not care if somebody did that to him. Why would I? I'm not going to do it personally because I don't even have the time, but I wouldn't give a fuck. That was the point I was making. And he doesn't give a fuck what happens to me. So, again, you guys say everything's cool. It's cool to fucking hunt me down. It's cool to, you know, hack into my website. That had happened a few months earlier. You know, it's cool to see me get assaulted in Portugal. That happened again in January. All that shit was cool. But, you know, me saying rightfully that him trying to prance around online as a fucking fake ass anon and name fact basically and be gator and be on all these shows when everybody knows who he is now and he's still doing all these shows with Rambo. I mean that's a problem for him <laughs> anonymous sent three dollars just one question for that hate donor where are those cutter stars <laughs> baby I mean exactly that's just reality that is a problem for him and I guess he should have thought about that and, it, you know, probably nothing. To be all honest with you, who knows? Maybe nothing will happen to him. I don't care one way or the other. But what I'm saying is he went on these airwaves and started lying about me and brought my son into it. I didn't even go that far until he went on Kino Casino and started lying about me, though. Then I was like, okay, so you just want to get on here and make up a bunch of shit? All right, well, fine. That's what really pissed me off. But he wants to go out there and do all that, then... He has to deal with the ramifications of people knowing who he is. And that's a decision that he made when he decided to lie about me. Now, Zoom claims he already had the info. I don't know if he picked up what I had said in Discord and, like, it confirmed. That's what I seen. That's what it seems like, that he kind of knew who he was. And then when I said it, like, confirmed his name was Brian, that, that Zoom was like, okay, I know it's him now. 
But I don't know. Zoom claims he had it before. So, again, that he doesn't want me to... See, like, they reject that hypothesis that I've already put out there um, because they, I guess they want full credit. I'm fine with that. I don't give a fuck. Maybe he did have it before. I don't give a shit. But what I'm saying is I don't care. I'm glad that Ga I'm glad that happened to Gator. And Zoom is no friend of mine. He talked shit about me even in that video, if I recall correctly. So, <laughs> again, no. It's one of those things where, no, this is like a fucked up guy that I don't like, but he's doing a fucked up thing to a guy who just did a fucked up thing to me. And so I don't have a problem with it. Now, if he had swatted him, I would disavow. I don't support that. For the record, I want to be clear. As I said earlier, there are certain lines that I don't that I don't support. Um, but you know, if if that happened to Gator and then he went online and tried to try to blame me about it and go into this long thing, be like, okay, well, no, that's not the case. You got mixed up in all this, Gator. Anyway, um, I will again point out that all this seems to have mysteriously increased when Medicare got the slightest amount of pushback for the first time in his miserable fucking life. And then all of a sudden everybody started getting swatted life ruination, the bullshit fucking faggot, absolute trash that he made up as a catchphrase. The shit that he like, it's just retarded all the way around life ruination. Yeah, okay. Uh, now that I've went, this was a completely unplanned. I actually did not even. <laughs> it's funny that we've, I've been on for like 30, 30 minutes. I did not even plan on talking about this at all. <clears throat> it's just morphed into a wide ranging, a wide ranging discuss, discussion. Uh, but again, I will say, I'll reiterate this at the end. I don't, well, I mean, I don't know what else we're about to talk about where we're going with this, but. Um, I wish they would take swatting seriously. I wish they would at least keep up. You know what would be nice? Some type of fucking swatting database between the agencies where they at least know maybe what's going on every once in a while or something where they don't just show up at my house like this. Oh, if you can't take the heat, get out, get the fuck out of the kitchen. Was a was a tweet. Oh wow, that was a direct tweet from. Oh, I should. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh boy, direct tweet from out west a couple weeks ago, huh? And again, don't support it, but that's the type of rhetoric that was used, and now it's we need a Geneva Convention. We need we need to visit the UN. Well, okay. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.